In this video, I'm going to show you how to turn your vocal track into something lush, atmospheric, and very beautiful in no time at all. Hey, what's up everybody? It's Mythical back again for another really quick tutorial on how to get some atmospheric, lush sounding vocal effects using only stock Logic Pro plugins. But if this is your first time on my channel, welcome. If you like to stay up to date on more Logic Pro 10 tips and tricks, you should consider subscribing to my channel now. And if you haven't, consider supporting me on Patreon if you haven't. Otherwise, let's get right into it. So the track in front of me is actually just bounce segments from a song that I wrote for my symphonic metal project. And I finally got to record my vocalist in the studio, Charlotte, who is amazing. We used a U47 microphone going into a 6176 and distressor and the product sounded amazing. We got a really great capture at the source which is very very important for vocals and any other instrument that you're recording but uh, for simplicity's sake I just wanted to bounce some of the regions of the song down so I can show you what possible vocal effects I will use on the actual track. So let's take a quick listen to it. I will turn the vocal effect buses off and we'll get going. There is sound, dark and thoughts of yesterday. All you do is fade away like the setting sun. A shadow. Solo the vocals. There's no escape I can find. You're the thorn in my side. Okay, so it is worth noting that these vocals are actually three different takes, three separate takes, and I have a unison in the center, and I have two other vocal tracks panned, negative 30 and, and plus 30 on each side and it really helps give more body and width to the actual unison so in the actual track there's going to be a lot more harmonies and ad libs but i just wanted to just show you the, the the vocal effects here so what did i do i bust everything to a reverb bus and a delay bus so let's just get going from the beginning i'm going to turn off everything that i have going on here and let's just loop this region. For the reverb bus, just like my previous secret reverb trick video that I did, applying the same techniques. I'm, I'm high pass and low passing uh, 600 hertz and 7,000 hertz. I don't wanna introduce any extra mud into this particular track. There's gonna be a lot of reverb and I just want to keep things as clean as possible. So the next thing in the chain is reverb. We're just using stock chromoverb. It's very easy to use. It sounds really quite nice. I have a nice long decay time. Dry, 0%, and then 100% wet. I just chose a regular preset from Halls, the vocal plate preset, and just increased the decay time. Nothing too special. We're gonna control a lot of the reverb using sidechain compression. So let's just go ahead and turn that on and the compressor so I can show you what's going on here. I'm going to solo out the vocals and I'll show you the sidechain compression feature, which is very easy to use in Logic Pro. And I'm actually a, a big fan of this technique on vocal effects anyways, because you get to control uh, a lot of the reverb or delay just by using a compressor. Darkened thoughts of yesterday, all you do is fade away like the sun. So I'm gonna turn sun. the compressor off. As shadows are cast in so silence. All we have is the reverb. So relentless, like this empty void inside us. Now when You're we turn the compressor on. Storm. There's no escape I can find. The compressor is side chained to Charlotte's vocals. So every time the signal runs through the compressor, only allowing reverb to pass through when there isn't any vocal signal coming through the compressor. So as she sings, the compressor clamps down on the reverb, gives it a lot more clarity, but then when there isn't any vocals, the compressor eases off and it allows all of that nice lush reverb to pass through. So you get to control 
uh, the dynamics of the reverb very easily using sidechain compression. And like I said, you just find the track that you want to sidechain compress. In this case, it would be the vocals. And I just picked a random ratio. I just chose five to one, turned the auto gain function off, and I'm keeping a fast release time and a fast attack time. And I just slowly adjusted the threshold until I found a suitable amount on the compressor. So let's try that. All you do is fade away like the setting sun. The needle will start moving here. As shadows are cast in silence. So relentless like this empty void inside us. You're my winter storm. There's no... So you can kind of hear that. And I didn't want to have too much reverb. I can probably increase it just a little bit. Let's just try that. Darken thoughts of yesterday. All you do is fade away like the setting sun. As shadows are cast in silence. Sounds very nice. Okay. So following that for character, I added a console EQ doing nothing to the low gain, mid gain, and high gain. Basically, just I just drove up the output to 11. And that's pretty much all I did. And there's a video that I demonstrated what kind of characteristic this does on the EQ. Uh, I will leave a link uh, during the video for that. But following the console EQ, actually, let's just listen to that real quick. Darken thoughts of yesterday, all you do is fade away. Like the setting sun. It has a little bit of grit, a little bit of character, and that's kind of what I was going for. So relentless, like this empty void inside but to top us, that off, you're my winter storm. There's no escape I can find. You're the th I added the tape delay saturation function so basically just some some tape saturation uh very cool very cool hidden feature that logic conveniently uh hid from us but it's very easy to turn off the delay function and just get the the, the tape characteristic and all you have to do is drop your delay time to zero make sure your tempo sync is off and the feedback is at zero percent and what i did as I just dropped my clip threshold to negative 20 and just kept everything at 100% because it's all gonna be blended. And you can, you can obviously adjust this to taste. I just wanted some dramatic effect because everything is blended through my actual bus channel here. So um, let's give that a listen real quick. Darken thoughts of yesterday, all you do is fade away like the setting sun. In context. Sounds really cool, but what if we wanted to do something similar with delay? Well, what we would just make another bus track and label it vocal delay. And I did the same exact thing with the EQ that I did on my reverb. And for the vocal delay, I chose the stereo delay from Logic. And I picked for the left channel a quarter note and then the right channel an eighth note kept everything at 100%. And what's convenient about this particular delay is that you can do a high pass, low pass filter cut on your delay itself. So you can see its stock has low cut at 60 hertz and high cut 5,000 hertz. I just did everything through the EQ because it sounded good to me. But same thing with the compressor on the delay, I am side chaining the delay. So let's take a quick listen to that. And actually, let's solo the vocal delay channel real quick so we can hear. Compressor off. So as you can hear that it's just a constant, constant delay, but with the compressor, it clamps down.
in context. Vocal solo. Effects off. A path no longer for me. Rocking thoughts of yesterday. All you do is fade away. Vocal effects like on. Setting sun. As shadows are cast in silence. So relentless. Like this off. empty void inside us. You're my winter storm. No Every song is different. Every song has its own dynamic and characteristic, but I believe that these methods that I showed you today will give you a very nice, lush, atmospheric vocal effect on your buses without compromising any of the clarity that you're wanting to keep in your track. That's very important to remember when you're using delay and using reverb is that you want to make sure that you're not introducing any extra mud or any extra frequencies that are unwanted and unpleasant to the ear. But what I didn't show you today that I think that is also important, I know I've covered it in other videos, is automation. Logic is really good about having the ability to automate every single parameter that it has in its plugins. So keep that in mind. So if you liked this video, share it with a friend who might benefit from it as well. Leave a like if you liked it or dislike it if you didn't. Otherwise, I will see you later.